center circle for this first faceoff as for Navy, they'll be going with Jacob Jarris as opposed to Hofstra's number one, Brian Herber. Herber, one of the top faceoff men in the country for Hofstra, but has taken a hit in that last game as Hofstra down the stretch struggled with retaining back-to-back -back possessions off faceoffs as Herber gets beat pretty handily by Jarris, and Navy will take it down the other way on the stick of Augie Fratt now for the them. Back to the face-off circle, it'll be Herber versus Jarris. Jarris won it pretty handily last time, and Herber tried to make a play to pass it to a wing, and he's going to... This point, it seems like any pass they need to find, they're getting quick. Nate Hammond's going to step into the face-off here for Navy. His first attempts of today's game is he's going to win it one, just very easily there against Herber. Hammond still with it, a pass to Sweeney, but Sweeney's unable to corral it for a quick shot. Second one, and Navy has won the, the third one with Hammond as Herber wins it pretty cleanly, but Rep deems a face-off by 3-1 to one with 4 minutes, 18 seconds left to play as another face-off is won by the midshipman as it's won back there and picked up by Kyle Fair. Henry Tolker's third goal of the season as Jacob Jarris is going to go back into the face-off as Chase Patterson will take the place of Brian Herber and Patterson will win it with a ground ball. Patterson looking for a player to pass it to, and he's going to go all the way. The first quarter in this one, as you did in the last one, but you've had your way with this Hofstra Pride team as it has not been close for the brunt of this one as Patterson back in the face-off circle for the Hofstra Pride as he is now two for two on face-off. Women's going to go back in for Navy as he's going to take the place of Jarris. Both teams running a two-man group as Hammond wins it for a second, but immediately it's going to get picked up by Rago with the pride as he's going to make a high pass to Dr And getting shots off, and it just seems like whenever they have any of these shots go, they're clear pass, no disruption, and they're just going straight to the back of the net. Patrick Skalniak's eighth goal of the season and second goal of tonight's game as Chase Patterson wins another faceoff for the Hofstra Pride. It is now 5-4 to four with the Pride leading in that department the season assisted by Dane Swanson as going back to the face-off circle another win there Joe Miller getting his first action of today's game we're gonna go to the face-off circle here with Chase Patterson going up against Joe Miller who came in late in the second half and won his only and he is now two for two as it gets picked up by Zack Snyder quick passing shoots scores Henry Tolker scores for the Navy midshipman. It is now eight to one. Just nine seconds in to the. And there is Chase Patterson's going to win this faceoff. He's had a lot of success in this one. He has played a brunt of these as Ryan Herber struggled early. Luck to start this one out, and they did after a abysmal start to this one. This half, Hofstra is going to get it back and. Matt Elder officially getting accredited with the goal as it is now 8-2. Navy still leading and Hofstra's in need of another Chase Patterson win as he's going to go back up against Miller. Miller and Patterson with it. Violation committed and Hofstra's going to take it right back the other way. And Cuts this lead to only five. Nate Hammond's going to step in for a face-off here for Navy, but Chase Patterson struggles to pick up the ground ball, shovels it to Daniel Oaks, who will pick it up and take it up for the pride. Slips, and he's going to go out of bounds on the fall, and Navy's going to pick quickly. Joe Miller versus Chase Patterson in the face-off dot for both teams as a fight, not on the ground, but Chase Patterson had it as he sweeps it away, and he's going to try and race for it as he kicks it to himself and picks it up but immediately gets swatted there by Joe Miller as it's going to go out of bounds and it's going to start up for Navy. Hoffman's taken every advantage, all credit to them as when it's rained it's poured so far as they've scored their goals in bunches as another face-off win by Joe Miller but unable to get any sustained possession as Richie Hickis will pick up the ground ball and take it back the other way for the Hofstra Pride. Hickis spins past two defenders, loses the ball, picks up a ground potential to get back in this game. And Carlos, again, very could be very eerie here is with another quick goal despite losing this face off to Chase Patterson. We could have seen an exact replica of what it was like last year or last week for Nate. If Harper wins or loses three in a row, we'll see Patterson for a little bit as Herber is able to recenter himself, but Patterson has not lost anything really consistently 
as he's done a great job with another win that gets picked up by Corey Kale before he trips and falls himself. But Rory Jones' second goal of the season makes this a 11-4 game as Patterson up against Joe Miller as it's going to get picked up by Patterson on the ground ball as he will try and make a powering pass there. But at this lead. Matt Elder with his third goal of the game, giving him a hat trick on the afternoon after he himself had a hat trick of assists last game. As Chase Patterson will win another face off for the Pride, and we get back to back offensive possessions for the first time in the practice next week. That you're feeling a little bit more confident because, again, you're going up against the Long Island Challenge. If uh, those of you who know the Boston hockey co or college hockey bean pot tournament, the Hofstra or the Long Island Lacrosse Colleges are starting to do their own thing with LIU, St. John's, Stony Brook, and Hofstra getting the game with the win. Simply not enough time for Hofstra to go, I guess, as you said, two for one against Navy. Need to get some consistent defensive stops as they saw early in this quarter as we go back to the faceoff. Holding violation there on Patterson, and Navy's going to get the ball right back. Dane Swanson as he leads all players with four goals and all players in points with that one assist for five total on the evening.